Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. When I moved, I bought the bandsaw, but I didn't bring the stand it used to be on. It was an old commercial glass washer stand, so it was never very good for the job. I've had it sat on an IKEA stall for a while, so I thought it was about time I got round to actually making a proper stand for it. After building the workshop, I had loads of these 3x2s left over. Well, no, not whole 3x2s, scraps. And it was just long enough to be able to do this. I want the legs to be splayed, so I've set the mitre gauge to a 10 degree angle. I've set up a stop block, so all the pieces that need to be the same length are easy to cut down. A mitre saw would also be great for doing this, but I don't have one set up in the workshop at the moment. So my stand's going to be made up of the two of these leg assemblies, each consisting of four pieces. So first I arrange them on the bench, and then I can mark out where I need to put the joints. I'm only going to mark out on one of them and then I can just transfer the marks onto the other. Now I'm making this quite high, I found my old bandsaw stand to be a bit too low for my taste. You want your workbenches to roughly be about wrist height if your hands were hanging down by your side. But I like to have a bandsaw table much higher up, but I guess it's just trial and error and personal preference. Now I'm going to join this all together using my dowel joiner. But a doweling jig would be absolutely fine. And if you don't have one of those, I suppose an absolute last resort, you could use a Festool Domino. The nice thing about using dowels is they're strong and you don't see the joint. But this is just a stand for a bandsaw, so not messing around like this and using some screws would be absolutely fine. With all the holes drilled, I can get it put together. I always put some glue into all the holes and spread some glue on one of the work pieces. And then I can get the dowels in, tapped into place, and then the things can be put together. Now the wood glue I have has got a 10 minute setup time. So it's always good to have a dry run and make sure you'll be able to get this together in time. Or just invest in a slower setting glue. It's on jobs like this where you have angled work pieces that these clamping blocks that I made last year come in really handy. They've got sandpaper mounted on the back so they won't slip and a couple of different clamping options. So I can get them in place and then get some of my larger clamps on. I leave these two frames to dry while I get on with making the bits to connect them together. So these two frames are going to be joined together with a couple of blocks of wood. Uh, no fancy angles on these ones, just a couple of straight pieces. So they're going to get joined together with dowels again. So first I can drill a couple of holes into the frames themselves after of course they've all dried and the clamps have come off. Then holes in either end of the two connecting pieces. So now just same procedure as before. Glue in the holes downs in, connecting piece in place, and then I can get the two frames attached together. Now I'm only putting these joining pieces on the bottom, nothing on the top because I'm going to add something on in a second. A little fiddly to do this, and perhaps I should have added a joining block at the top just to make sure those two sides kept an equal distance apart. So while I was waiting for the glue to dry, I cut down a bit of ply that's just going to fit on the top. Now this time I'm not going to mess around with dowels, I'm just going to put some wood screws straight through the ply into the legs. And I could call it a day there, a perfectly usable stand, but I want it to be portable. Well portable is the wrong word, I want it to be able to move it. 
I want to keep it against the wall and be able to pull it out occasionally. So I've nicked these casters off my planar thicknesser. I find they don't really work very well on the planar thicknesser and I'm going to build a stand for that. But hopefully they'll work quite well on the bandsaw. Now you can see the height difference between the stool I had it on and the new stand. Hopefully this should be much better for my back. The base of the bandsaw has a hole in each corner, so I just screw it down and using a washer. And that's it all done. I can wheel it around and it's a much nicer working height. So now I better get on and make a stand for the planar thicknesser. So thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.